Alright, it looks like I am back and now everything is operational. Let me drop the game music down a bit. So I think that was a little bit too up there. Let's actually drop it for myself too. Alright, alright, alright. So, unfortunately it looks like uh, Mr. Otis is gone. No, you are still here. Hopefully you can hear me now. Good, bad. Um, I don't, not quite sure what happened. I haven't messed with uh, any of the settings, but I decided I was no longer needing my microphone. Um, chop that up to maybe uh, for the power outage. But either way, I think we're good now. As we were picking up in Dirge Cerberus, running around shooting people, and I was complaining about, or discussing, I should say, the fact that this was an online multiplayer game in Japan. And I can't imagine that because the controls being as goofy as it is. Uh, this was probably 2006, I want to say it was. And 2001 was Halo. 2000, 2000 or 2001, I forget which, but the fact that like five years have gone by ish and this is still what they decided to put out as far as a first person third person shooter is a little baffling to say the least uh but hey it's japan they're gonna do what they're gonna do they always have and always will and i was not prepared for this room oh shit shit it should probably just be doing slashy things. I forget about that in a shooting game. Thankfully, that dude just dropped some heals for me. Um, so my game plan is, is oh shit. Uh, I'm in the back half of the game. By back half, I mean like back quarter maybe? Chapter 9 out of 12. Uh, my, I anticipate to wrap this up today within a couple hours and be done with it. Depending on where we're at with the stream and what's going on, I might throw on my Xbox. Uh, just to wrap out the night. Um, so that should be interesting because so far I've not really played anything on my Xbox. And that could be a good old time. Who knows, maybe I'll actually just throw on Halo uh, and go down that route. But first things first, we have a bunch of Japanese RPG nonsense to play through. Including the villains of... The sub-villains of the villains from Final Fantasy VII with their own villain group and their own villain bosses that didn't exist through all of Final Fantasy VII. So, as the world was near landing, they decided not to do anything and just sit back and watch from uh, what is known as the deep ground base. Which, okay, sure, we'll run with it. Uh, as I mentioned prior, I did want to play through this because the Final Fantasy VII Remake DLC that came out with Yuffie is heavily tied to this game back from 2006 and I don't remember any of it because last time I played it was when it first came out. But I know it involves uh, the DLC with Yuffie has mentions of Deep Ground as well as the, the main enemies within it which include uh, a dude named Vise, uh, Chaos is within me, and then there's Omega which is some soul sucking entity that's effectively going to play the Grand Reaper, um, take all the souls from this planet and rip them off and fly into space to find a new planet. So, you know, your typical JRPG nonsense. Uh, it's more specifically interesting for me, aside from being tied to Yuffie, uh, Yuffie's DLC, I should say. Hey. Uh, what's nice about it is in F Lightning Returns Final Fantasy 13, there is a very similar storyline, but you play as Lightning, who is the Green Reaper, the collector of souls in that game, off to start a new world. So it's it's one of those situations where old ideas die hard, it seems. And all of this, if it sounds like nonsense to you, don't worry, I've been playing the game the whole time and it still sounds like nonsense to me. But it's fun to run around shooting things. And sometimes slash them. And then sometimes I get to turn into a big old werewolf. And who doesn't love that? I've mentioned before, uh, a couple streams ago, but if you ever know me, notice me 
turning sideways, that's because there's a big old cat right here, which is also where the screen is. So it's hard for me to see what's going on, so I kind of turn to the side because I have a secondary display going on. That way I can actually keep on moving through this world because uh, cats make better doors than windows, apparently. I'm not sure if Goya knows that, but it's still true. And why do I feel like I just went backwards? Alright, let's try this again. Hack the mainframe. Let's keep going to the next one. Hack the main... Or maybe not hack the mainframe again. And Mr. Otis, assuming you're still hanging out, uh, am I coming through with some audio now? Or am I just talking madly into the abyss again? There we go, got that door. Goya is very intently watching the stream, which is abnormal for him, but okay. I'm sure you see that the ear is on the bottom of the screen. But you know what? I'm not going to be mad. I'm going to let him do his thing. I guess this is what I get for leaving a desktop space in front of the screen, huh? Oop. That's not good. Oh goody, this looks like fun. Oh, Black Widow, how appropriately timed. Use my rifle shots just because I've got a bunch of ammo and I probably should be using- Oh, there's shit up top too. Maybe I won't use my rifle ammo cautiously then. Oh! Ooh, what is going on? Is it two parts of the same health? Okay, it is. Good. Let's get you down here. And the other one blew up, so that's good. Even better, as the kids say. Let me switch. Because that rifle shot is not working like I want it to. Forgot I also max upgraded up this gun, so I probably should use this for bosses. Right? Aren't you cool? So I'm picking up on Sunday to stream, which I know is not my normal schedule, so I apologize. I have someone's watching this on uh, the VOD, if you will. Um, didn't do it on Friday, or sorry, on Wednesday due to power outage. And then on Saturday I had personal um, uh, items going on, so was unable to stream on Saturday. I was figuring, you know what, Sunday is just as available, let's go ahead and do that really like to get on the other side of this game so we can start playing some other uh, nonsense. Um, plus, I'm just eager to get to the end of the story. Like, Until I wrap this up, I don't want to start up the, uh, or continue the, the Yuffie DLC that I was playing on Final Fantasy VII Remake. So I figure, get through this, collect some top secret files. Um, but once I'm done with this, then I can go ahead and continue on with the Yuffie adventures. I've put a fair amount of time into it, I think like two or three hours. And then I realized that it was about to start introducing a lot more characters than I remember. Uh, I should probably get back to this and give it a go. To my surprise, this game is not as shit as I thought it w was going to be. For off of memory, I remember it being a lot more clunky and frustrating. Uh, not actually that bad though. Not that good, either. However, not that bad.
But as far as experiments go with new genres for companies, definitely dealt with a lot worse before. Get out of here. Stupid little robots. You are the worst Roombas I've ever seen. Limit breaker. Alright, so nothing good in here. Although, if I use that limit breaker, I can heal. Mm, I might as well. Sounds like a silly reason to use it, but if it's available and it's going to go waste anyways, might as well use it, right? And I also know that my the timing of my stream was more than ideal due to the fact that there is major soccer going on right now. So, even without that, it's usually pretty quiet in the chat. So, now that you add that on top of it, a couple more people that may have been here are definitely not going to be here now. Because the major sports ball. Wow, this underground chasm uh, is quite big. I can't see you guys. Okay, I take it back. This game is every bit of horrible that I remember it to be. <laughs> Do I actually need to kill these things or am I just wasting my time? Oh, okay, wasting my time. Good to know. Good to know. God. Thought maybe I'd get some quick XP, but boy, that did not work. I really hope I don't have to kill those people later. What are these, the material vaults? This game does have a crouch, if I remember, but... Doesn't really do a whole lot. Let me take my mega potion. Ooh, wow. Whoa. Did not see that, dude. Alright. Handled that. And he drops a baby potion. I think those are the guys outside firing at me still. Because, you know, they can sense me through the walls. Using their uh, non spider sense. Move out? Who are you talking to, lady? Alright. Get my head in the game, because I am wasting items left and right. Wish I could pick up these materia or whatever they are. Clearly, whatever they are, they're valuable, so... Feels like the ending of Resident Evil 2. When you're fighting the boss in the archives, or whatever that final room is. I haven't played Resi 2 in quite some time. I didn't play the remake. I really should have, though. Like, every part of it looked amazing. Yes, fall back. I'm still trying to figure out what to do for stream next week. Uh, or not next week, but two weeks from now. Because I will have to be traveling for work. So I'm trying to think of options to continue streaming during those periods. Uh, because coming up at work, I have a couple weeks where I'm going to be flying out. So definitely won't be able to do Wednesdays. And I'm not sure where I'll be as far as Saturdays go. Ring, 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 ring. Yes. And you really have to shout right next to my ear. Sorry about that, Tifa. I apologize, Vincent. Here's a clap. Vincent? What is she, the secretary? Why is she making the calls? It's been a while. We're really going to stop the game so we can have a chit chat. Deep ground to me. 
Oh, and it kills me how they say Shinra in this game. Everyone says it different. Uh, I'm already dead, fool. But thank you for caring. Saving. I love seeing saves. Means I know I'm secure. I never quite felt comfortable with the adjustment to uh, auto-saving in a lot of games. Like, I normally will find myself doing manual saves non-stop still. Even though I know there's an auto-save, I just don't trust it. Been burned too many times before. Surveillance mines? What are the... Oh, shit. That's what those are. Those are also from Final Fantasy VII. Normally I'd play as Barrington, I just kind of dropped those in the remake, and life is good and happy. Come on. Let's say line up. Ooh, I'm actually shocked that one worked. Whoa, Nelly. And now I'm panicking. The weird thing with this game is, like, they put me in situations like this where they're technically is no way to lose, but it's going to give me a score, and then that's going to give me a level ranking at the end of all of this. Which is fine and dandy, it's just so weird to... I'm not used to many games being incorporated into shooters of any kind. Third person, first, whatever. But can you imagine if Gears of War threw in a freaking a mini game at some point? Like, I guess, kind of like the Horde mode is that mini game, but... Uh, at the same time, that's its own mode, not in the campaign. Like, I don't think there is a threat right now. But who knows, maybe afterwards, depending on how many get away, it'll impact a boss or something. Or no, it just looks like it was like, hey, have fun. Waste some ammo, why don't you? Alright, let's reload, and I guess we're done in here. Oh, jukebox. Excellent, because I'm going to take a mega potion then. Re up on that. Yo, what is up, Igon? How are you today? How are things, good sir? Are you excited for this week? Just... Oh, boo on work. Yeah, that was this morning for me. I had some um, nonsense I had to knock out. That thankfully I did find a way to start shifting to Fridays, um, so I shouldn't have to work on Sundays. I know I'm so excited to hit up uh, that movie's uh, pop up this week. I haven't seen, um, and this might sound silly, but like, is there any appearance or interaction from Kev or Muse or anything for that thing, or is it just full on just like pop up at a movie's enjoy because you're in the room? Um, I didn't know if, like, they're there or they have other people there from the from the movies or anything. Or it's just like, hey, come enjoy burger inside your fake restaurant. God, fuck. Alright, let me go back. Where was that? Jukebox. I accidentally bought a potion. Yeah, that's what I thought I saw, too, that they were doing that, um, Jersey thing, because he was doing that big weight loss, uh, program up till then. Or, like, you know, hiking through his mountains or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, howdy, canonical. Um, if you're referring to an early level of this game, I'm not sure other than Corridors... Like, it's just, you know how game design was then, like, they wanted to, especially with Square, because they're always trying to push as many polys as they can, um, and if you limit the, the visuals to, like, small, tight corridors, you can really boost up the models and stuff like that. 
Yes, I did do the cat cheese sex section. Um, and it was not as horrible as I thought it was gonna be. Like, yes, it, it pushed, you know, the whole idea of being stealthy, but, uh, it was far more forgiving than I expected it to be. I had one bad encounter with it. Oof. Or, uh, like, one bad section where I wiped, but... Thankfully, that's over, but during that, I discovered that Chaos is going to eat all the life on the planet and then fly into the stars because JRPG. Um, so that part is done. But it did... Whatever. It, they said Kate Sith instead of Ketchi, and... The only reason why the name bugs me that they didn't pronounce that right is because this is, like... It's an existing name. It's the king of all cats. Um, in... Uh, Irish folklore so it's just bizarre to me that they were just like yeah we're just gonna wing and sight the way we want to very peculiar oh that's annoying yeah, I really hope they don't In fact, I'd be okay if they just take out, uh, catch she all together. I forget what I'm supposed to do with these things. Why they're kicking my ass. I know this is not how I'm supposed to handle these things. Limit break. Yeah, I was uh, making bad decisions, so I decided why not. Why am I not attacking? There we go. Oh my goodness. What a horrible event right there. But it's even weird that they even bothered putting in uh, Kachi in this to begin with, considering, like, at this point, the the whole reasoning behind Kachi existing was that he was a Shinra spy that had to infiltrate the group, so they need to not know who he was. At this point, we're fully aware of who he is. Like, there's no reason for him to run around as that thing anymore. Other than to piss me off. Where is my Phoenix Town? Oh, I already have one active, never mind. Yeah, which thank you for that tip by the way, of just having my like that Phoenix Town needs to be used like uh what is that, Revive Two or whatever the I forget what the name usually is in Final Fantasy. Re raise, there you go. Oh my god. I hate everything right now. Nice. Nice chain. Gotta admit, I am the creepy part about the. Oh, they frame the whole thing like Reese has become dependent on his alter ego. I mean, honestly, you're not wrong. Which is weird because, I mean, he's. He's like third in command in the entire Shinra company. You think the dude would have some self esteem at that point in his career? Like, you wouldn't need to have an alter ego to rely on because it's fuck it, I'm Reeve. I do what I want, bitch. Um, but he doesn't have any of that attitude. He's like a meek little, like, yes, sir, secretary, sir. Whatever you say, uh, Rufus, sir. Mm. That is not a Jeff Bezos. It's not a leader of industry. Andrew Ryan would be ashamed. Hey, it's the sword, guys. Transformers, robots in disguise. 
Yeah, I don't know what to play next after this. I've got a couple Lord of the Ring games I was kind of tossing around the idea of playing. Red Potion. That gave me one health. That was bizarre. Alright, so that's better. Oh, let's get back. Let's all go to the movies. Lobby. Alright, good. Not where I came from. Yeah, I remember enjoying... I think it was Return of the King that I played. Oh, wow, you guys have rockets. Like, whoa. Some very slow rockets, but still rockets nonetheless. Are more of you coming in? Okay. Um, but yeah, I have Lord of the Rings, The Third Age, which is an RPG that's 100% uh, a ripoff of Final Fantasy X. Except you follow, you follow the actual fellowship. You're not a part of the fellowship, and you're constantly like four steps behind them. So everything they run into in the movies, you do as well after they do. It's a really weird design as far as like a story goes. But you play like an elf, a dwarf, and a human, and that's your your party. Uh, from memory, there might be some other nonsense that happens too, but. Take an X potion, pick up an X potion. Uh, but I have that. I have The Hobbit, which was made by a different company than uh, Warner Brothers or whoever did the Lord of the Ring game movies or movie games. And then, but that one I remember being a lot more of uh, like a fun, kid friendly, actual adventure like Lord of the Rings is supposed to be. And then, like you said, the hack and slash games are fun. And that I do have Two Towers and Return of the King. So, I don't know, maybe I'll throw those in next. Switch things up a little bit. And who who doesn't enjoy some Lord of the Rings? Some Gandalf running around smacking people with six. And then there's one of these parts where you have to save 200 women as cave trolls beat down the doors to Minas Tirith. It's good times. Uh-oh. Nope. She offed herself. Yeah. Yeah, they they really dragged this out, Canonical. And I kind of hate that it's somewhat common with games that I'm running into is that they I think there's some way to lock on I don't remember at this point but they uh they spend a huge chunk of the game like letting you learn how to play versus teaching you how to play while doing story so the first half of the game is almost like tutorial and then you start doing the actual story. And that, that, I feel like, just kicked in on Chapter 7 out of 12. So it's like literally half the game was just like, hey, let's putz around while you learn the game. And then the back half's like, okay, now that you know how to play the game, let's actually play the game. It's super lame. Fuck off, bro. I ain't got time for this. Neo Azul. I already killed Rosso the Crimson. Or right, once again, she killed herself. She, you know, did one of those Disney villains, I'm gonna jump off a cliff. Kinda bummed that the Turks aren't in this game. Oof. Potion. You mother lover. What the fuck is that? You're dead, right? I'm sure that's it. He only has one form, right? <laughs> this is how a battle should be. Don't you think? 
think so? Uh oh. Isn't Azul the dude from Ghostbusters? The first one? Oh shit, he's a big doggy. Oh, he's Cerberus. Zool, thank you. So, a Zool, so he's a, a singular Zool. And now he looks like the creature from Ghostbusters. Except I'm not damaging him. Oh, you are, am I going to have to do, like, magic only? Oh, um, why is... I don't have magic equipped. That's a problem. Alright, so I need to go into customize and change... Ugh, I haven't upgraded any of my materials. because I haven't been using it. Sure, why not? We'll try fire. And let's miss. Twice. I think that did zero. No, it did... Wow, it did 214. That's not enough. This is gonna be a problem. Fucker. How do I absorb? Alright, let's... Gozer? What the hell is Zool then? Other than that Super Nintendo game. Elixir, Phoenix Down. Oh, let's try a Limit Breaker. I hate, 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 hate bosses like this. You can only hurt me with one attack type. Despite there not being any logic that supports it. I wish I had another limit breaker. And like, how do I get this? I'm about to fucking die, aren't I? Oh, baby, come on. This is some irritating shit right now. Can bitch slap around. So, like, he's running through these things and breaking them, so I'm just gonna keep doing that. <sighs> this is not going as intended. Okay, if. Alright, I got you. But I don't know how to not get hit by him. And why am I not casting my magic? Customize, Cerberus Relief. Let's try Blizzard and see if that'll slow him down. Ooh, it does more damage though. When I hit. All right, this is not ideal. Cause I'm running out of shit to absorb. Hopefully they respawn. It doesn't freeze him, but it seems like actually getting hurt does some damage. Oh. Don't know what he just casts other than Ow. He can just cast Matra Magic or Magic Missile on me. Come on, blow this up for me. You spin me right round round like a record baby right round round round. Oh my goodness. Y'all y'all gotta help me out here. Cause I'm gonna lose my damn mind fighting this guy like this.
Hey Siri, show me how not to design a boss fight. Alright, um, I think I have an elixir. I'll use... Ah, hold on. Never mind. Red ether. Yeah, let's fire my shots into the sky. Fucking cowboy. Oof. Alright, is that actually done? Or am I about to fight boss three? Not even my final form, Vincent. <laughs> uh, you're probably not wrong. Yeah, I know it's not over yet. Because I still have two other Sviets to kill. I have something the agile or nimble. Uh oh. I think I just stole my proto materia back. It's about to go all a cure on me, isn't it? Wow, I was going to say guns are better when shot, but apparently not. It looks like you were more of beasts than I. Dude, you have a cannon in your stomach. So I haven't officially gone to anything in the Final Fantasy VII Remake DLC in revolving any of these yet characters. Oh, Nero. That's his name. Chewing gum? I'm so sorry. Um, but I haven't run into any of this in the remake yet, but I do wonder if or the DLC for the remake, if they're just planning on wrapping up all that the story so they don't have to expand on it later. <laughs> You're not wrong, but he had the proto materia inside of his chest. Wrong with me lately. Maybe I've been working too hard. Totally fake, Aerith. These are words. <laughs> I see. Another experiment. You're using this fine specimen to finish your thesis, aren't you, Doctor? No, you're wrong. Doctor? Am I? Once a scientist, always a scientist, I must say. Fellow must be helping his beloved even after he's begun rotting away. <laughs> huh. 
don't know, it is weird that the shadow moves with him. Dude, you let him inject you with Genova cells for your baby. Which I don't know where this that flashback takes place before or after Sephiroth is born. Oh, well, it must be... Well, it's after he's conceived because that's why Vincent got shot, but... Lucrezia used me to... Lucrezia. Uh, Come on, stop napping. God, that almost does not even look recognizable as a phone at this point. Or maybe it wasn't a phone. I thought it was. See, this is why I'm always disappointed that, like, fucking Amazon and Google don't have this cool deep ground shit going on. Shinra's dark secret. Someone would be bragging about that stuff on social media. That sound effect was straight out of Kingdom Hearts, by the way. Oh, the door to Kingdom Hearts. How about that shit? Stage results. Alright, so that was 9 down. We have 10, 11, and 12 to finish. Targets destroyed. Yes. Ooh, I got an A. I think that's the best ranking I've gotten on a level. And I got all the deep ground files. Nice. Calculating points. Um. <sighs> Excuse me. Oof. Apparently time for a coffee. Oh yeah, let's level up. I really don't need money after, um... <laughs> Game Shark. Um, I'm good on money, so how can I convert that? I will purchase some goods. At least the end is literally in sight now, if I remember correctly. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I, I almost remember the last level being... Like, I remember it being, like, on rails, but I thought I remember it being, like, a hyped-up roller coaster, and, like, it being relatively quick, like, maybe ten minutes. But what do I know? Don't want to sell anything. Uh oh. Yeah, because now I just have Nero the Sable. Uh, and then Omega. They're the only two things I have left. And apparently whatever the secret is. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Wise. Vise. You know, despite the fact that they keep on yelling, Hail Vise, somehow it's my mind. Mm -mm, let me buy all of the bullets. Makes me think of, um, and I don't know why, but once again, like, Metro, Last Light. Those games are fantastic. They use ammo for the currency in that game, too, so... It's kind of a fun balance between holding your ammo and using it to actually advance on stuff. Those games are really fun. Very atmospheric, too. Kind of along the lines of how Bioshock was. Bioshock Infinite, while I enjoy it, not so atmospheric. Hmm. What is this we have here? Oh, that looks like fun.
Come back. Oh, god damn it. Anytime there's a counter on screen, I get angry. I mean, I, it's not like I didn't know I was playing a video game, but it just becomes super gamey at that point. Sure, there's a time and a place for that stuff, and that is not in the middle of a campaign and a finale when shit's hitting the fan and everything's epic. So, I do remember reading that there are hidden data files that I need to pick up. I got the first one of three. Uh, I think it's the G files. And that's how I get the secret ending on this. So, I need to keep my eye out for it because I know there's... I mean, if I, I'm on chapter... There's 10, 11, and 12 left. So, and it's going to probably be ten, on 10 and 11. I doubt they'll put on the roller coaster on rails level. So I need to keep my eye out for that extra, with those extra files.